Hey, what's up guys, I'm Nizio Cole, and today I'm gonna be talking about some of my favorite Watch Dogs missions. Remember, this is just my opinion and uh, spoiler warning for pretty much all of Watch Dogs 1. So uh, yeah, here we go. Now this is going to be in chronological order, so I'm gonna be talking about my favorite missions from each chapter, basically. So starting off with Act 1, we have Bottom of the Eighth, otherwise known as the first mission in the game. Now, when I bought Watch Dogs 1, I had literally no idea what the game was about. Well, I had a general idea that it was having to do with hacking, but I didn't know what kind of game it was. I just bought it, right? And this was a really, really great introduction to the series for me personally, excusing the fact that Jordy just kind of called the police for no apparent reason. This was a great introduction to Jordy's character, who was also, if you watch my top five favorite characters of Watch Dogs, that is, Jordy's one of my favorite characters in the series. I think this mission does a really great job of showcasing all of the features and the mechanics of the game. From the start when you're interrogating Maurice, and then when you go out to Jordy, you have to use the, uh, the introduction to the crafting system when you're trying to distract the cops. And it also shows one of my favorite hacking features in the game, which is the blackout, when you black out the entire stadium and try and escape. I think this is a really really cool introduction to the game and that's why it's one of my favorite missions. The next one is not the pizza guy. This one was just generally a fun mission to play. I guess you could call it more of a minor mission as far as story wise and advancing the plot but it is one of my favorite missions to play. By the way I love how funny Jordy is. I love the start of the mission where he like breaks into the, the apartment and is like who are these guys? Um, that's one of my favorite parts of the mission. I'm getting the name of the guy who is going to snitch on you in prison. I think that was really really cool. And then it was just generally really memorable and fun to play. The next mission is Dressed in Peels. This was just overall a really fun mission. I love the idea of just sneaking around a prison, um, trying to get into prison first, which I don't know if they just send you straight to prison if you walked in with a gun. I'm pretty sure you have to go to a court case or whatever, but it was still pretty cool. And then sneaking around, uh, stealing the stuff. The first time I played this game, when you're down in the basement, if you guys remember, there's a juggernaut. That was probably the hardest thing about this mission. I didn't actually realize that if you exploded the steam pipe that it would kill the juggernaut, but that was actually one of the hardest things for me in this mission but it was just a really fun mission i love the whole setup to it and also i love the rooftop escape scene at the end of the mission where you you know jump off the roof in your car or whatever it, it's it's really really cool and now for the first mission in act two it is collateral i really like this mission because it just feels authentic like it feels like something that could actually happen i love the voice acting between clara and aiden i love the explosion scenes and the quick time event where the fixers holding clara hostage and all the other fixers that come and try and kill them i think it was just a really nice sequence to play through in general and i had a lot of fun with it and let me tell you this mission looks extremely graphically satisfying with the refresh mod for Watch Dogs 1. Also, I love the fact that Aiden acknowledges and recognizes that what he's doing, like he's in a dangerous line of work. So he literally plants explosive devices in his apartments because he knows if I get ambushed, I'm gonna need a backup plan or in a backup plan after that and a backup plan after that. So I think that was a really cool touch to his character. The next mission is a risky bid. This is probably, if I had to, I'm not ranking them, but this is probably my favorite mission in the game because it's just, the atmosphere is just so amazing. I love the idea of Aiden going in there and trying to take down this whole human trafficking operation. But let me tell you, the part where you're trying to go, you're in like the, there's like this little sewer area underneath the auction and you're sneaking around trying to escape. That is, pro that's probably the hardest part, the hardest thing I've ever had to do in this game. Besides the, the convoy mission near the end of the game with Bloom where you have to take down the convoy. That was one that was really, really frustrating for me, but it was... Really satisfying once I escaped and once I actually got out of there. And this was just, in general, just one of the most fun missions to play. The next mission is by any means necessary. This is the one where you have all the knowledge. You know where Rossi Freeman is. You know the layout of it because of uh, when you sent Bedbug in. I think it was the chapter before that. So you actually go in there and what do you know? You get caught by Iraq and you actually end up fighting him. And the, I think the death of Iraq, that whole cutscene, I think that's a really, really nice, well laid out cutscene. And I think Iraq is probably besides Damien it's a tie between Iraq and Damien as my favorite villains of this game I think Iraq actually had kind of a he was it was kind of cool the reveal that he was actually a hacker too he was the other hacker in the Merlot job so I think I think that was a really really cool kind of reveal and it's like you wouldn't expect someone like Iraq to be the the other hacker you know you expect it to be maybe like Lucky Quinn but that was a really cool reveal and I really enjoyed the mission Second to last, we have No Turning Back slash Someone's Knocking. So I kind of included both of these missions together. 
because I think they were really interesting missions. First of all, I loved infiltrating the a lot. I think that was really cool because it kind of played on the stealthier side of the game. Absolutely loved the speech that Aiden gives Lucky Quinn. He's like, oh, I'm, I'm in this glass cage. What are you going to do to me? Oh, is that a pacemaker you see? I, you have a pacemaker? Okay, all right. You want to play like that? And, and that, I think that's, that was a really cool, like, um, just impactful speech. I don't know, I really not explain it. It just felt deep, even though, you know, they're just talking about, you know, the city and everything. But it, it just felt like a payoff, finally killing Lucky Quinn. It, it just felt like, it just felt like a weight lifted off of Aiden's shoulders, if anything. And then that transitioning into someone's knocking where Clara gets found out to be a fixer actually sent in there and then Aiden gets pissed understandably but then that leads to Clara's eventual death so it's kind of like Aiden is blaming himself for her death because if she never would have tried to get Nikki back then she would have still been alive and it, he blames himself so I think that was a really really nice and sort of emotional mission for me personally and my last favorite mission of Watch Dogs 1 is the last mission in the game and that is sometimes you still lose if sneaking around in the sewer system underneath the auction wasn't hard enough, trying to hack into the different CTOS centers while 15 million police officers are chasing you and Damien's hacking the whole city, that was probably the hardest thing ever, but it was the most rewarding once I finished it. Because once you finish it and you get on the boat and you go to the island and you go up there with Damien and the whole double cross with Jordy, which I thought was great by the way, I think it was a very good closing to the game's story and to Damien, the final... I guess you could say main villain of the game because if you think about it Iraq and Lucky Quinn and uh, default they were you know just all smaller ones to build up this is the main point of the game and I think it was executed pretty well so yeah those are my favorite watchdogs missions hope you guys enjoy let me know in the comments down below what you guys' favorite missions are and uh, yeah I'll see you guys later peace